what's going on so we're going to go over bitcoin here i'm going to try to post as many uh crypto related stock breakdowns today use this video of bitcoin as a reference when i bring it up in other videos because i'm going to try to make just as many as i can what we're looking at okay bitcoin on the weekly time frame this is just the regular chart this is not the log chart so what I want to kind of zoom into and pay attention to, look at what happened back in, this is uh, March 2021, and then we have November 2021. Every time that we got into this kind of zone here, what was happening, okay? Now, I want to highlight this because when we got into this range, we have one very large bearish engulfing to kind of give us the hint that this is an area where there's going to be profit taking. Okay, we start to see small, small wicks, one large, big wick here, um, another bearish engulfing. You're starting to see like these uh, evening star candlestick patterns start to develop. And it's happening after it m makes this massive run from around 11,000 to 60,000, 60, 69,000. Okay, we come back into this range, the larger wicks start to develop again. You're starting to see evening stars. And then we get the follow through, okay? This is what gives us the signal, right? There's a lot more. You could look at the 21 EMA. What happens with the 21 EMA? Well, we finally break below it after it's been used as support for a significant period of time. What happened with the 50 EMA? You're starting to see it kind of, right? Look at the angle of the EMAs, right? You could zoom in on the three day, the two day and the daily, and they'll, they'll all be very similar. You're starting to see the angle go from very, a very high angle into kind of more of a sideways. And then eventually it, it, it points down. Okay. These are just slight little indications of the market is trying to tell you from a technical perspective, what's going on. Okay when to start taking profits, when to kind of take your foot off the gas and start to kind of step back and say, all right, what is happening here? Should I reevaluate my plan? Okay. So this is back again, March, 2021 and November, 2021. Now, when we look at what's happening now, okay, a lot of people are saying, well, if you're looking at this chart, you see Bitcoin, it's already had its run. Now's the time to be preparing again, right? why i kind of disagree okay bitcoin's at its new all-time highs yes the halving has not happened yet okay so again all of this happens after the the last halving the last halving was i believe april or march of 2020 right so the run happened after the halving and there's it's always been the case that there's a a, a strong run after the Bitcoin halvings because of the supply um, being more, it's more hard to mine Bitcoin, right? The issuance rate gets decreased and this issuance rate is now officially making it, um, you know, a more scarce asset than gold is. Okay. So this is, and it's going to get more and more scarce as we go on. But why I think it's a little bit different, let's look at Bitcoin here now. We're getting large wicks from the bottom in this range. And you're not seeing, let's put out the volume here, okay? Volume around this range starts to spike drastically, especially volume exiting the asset. You're starting to see consistent red volume coming up in these levels, okay? Versus, again, look at the ratio of bullish volume coming into the asset as it runs up and then as we start to top out over here look at the the ratio switches where we start to see a lot more bearish volume kind of leaving the asset right what is happening here we're still in a very bullish volume dominant section of this chart and now when we look at you know where we are now the past call it four or five weeks uh, of bitcoin's trading the volume is we're not seeing anything crazy here and it's even more evident as we look at you know we zoom in onto the daily time frame you're starting to see look at the volume here completely dropping off right um again 
we're creating a bullish wedge or a bullish pennant or a bullish triangle above previous all-time highs before the halving. I think that this is setting up an absolutely gorgeous move for we're going to start to see the FOMO happening soon in my opinion. Um, we could see Bitcoin trading 80, 90, 100k before you know it, it's July, August. Right, so this is a very, very possible scenario that we need to pay attention to. I love the looks of this pennant shaping up, especially as we see this volume decreasing. We're starting to see a little bit of chop. People are starting to get impatient. And now what I like the most out of all this is that, you know, you don't want to be in a trade when the entire if the entire market is like Bitcoin is a bull, um, it's going to three, four, five hundred K. If everyone's saying that, that's when you start to kind of, you know, question right now. It's very, very mixed across social media platforms. When I read, you're starting to see a lot of people again it, the, when you're reading on social media, you're reading a small, uh, almost like a echo chamber of of opinions. Right. The broader the broader public, no one's aware of this right now. But when you do look at social media, you're starting to see the divide of the people who are in this niche. And you're starting to see people saying, now might be the time to take gains. Now might be the time to take some off the table. Now might be the time where Bitcoin starts to top out. It already has had its run. And why I like that is because it's splitting up this trade idea it's not everyone's a bull and i think that that is important especially when you start to look at you know what what is possible what is possible for this bull run now i'm going to start breaking down a bunch of these other crypto related stocks and what that potentially means for those assets because i do think again as the tide rises all the boats will come with it um it's about picking the boats that are going to perform the best so we're going to get into that in a bunch of those videos uh, up next. Peace, guys.